Welcome to another episode of DIY Skincare Treats. But hold up, wait a minute. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're following me, your host, Shandero, on all my social media sites. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Make sure you check out SavvyNaturalista.com for all your skincare needs, where you can find Miracle Glow Oil at SavvyNaturalista.com, as well as Laramar Elixir at SavvyNaturalista.com. Miracle Glow Oil contains all natural 24 karat gold, and our Laramar Elixir has all natural blue essential tansy oil one is a moisturizer and one is a balance for the skin so if you're looking to balance uh, and replenish your skin check out let Ramar elixir and if you want to hydrate and uh, moisturize your skin check out miracle glow oil and thanks so much for watching so in this episode of course the Festive season is here in the desert when the rain comes or the first fall rain comes the heat is pretty much out of here So I'm so excited today. We will be making candy corn body scrub cubes So let's get started with this recipe and I will be chatting th through this video. Y'all know me Anyways, we're gonna start off with two heaping cups of granulated sugar So let's add that to our mixture two heaping cups One once you have your granulated sugar, we will be adding glycerin. So we're gonna add just a heaping tablespoon of glycerin. So you only wanna use one tablespoon of glycerin. Now we will be using Miracle Glow Oil. You can find Miracle Glow Oil at SavvyNaturalista.com. Miracle Glow Oil contains all natural 24 karat gold. So let's shake it up. And we will be using five squirts of Miracle Glow Oil. I am so excited to make these festive sugar scrub cubes. I, you guys know, uh, growing up I was a Jehovah Witness, so we really didn't celebrate the holidays like that. And I really don't celebrate the holidays, but I really get into the spirit because I have a YouTube channel. Honestly, if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I would not get into the spirit of holidays, but I get so excited. We will be using a half a cup of coconut oil. So uh, let's get that coconut oil in. And this is a quarter cup. Y'all know the show's on a budget. So I'm just going to use um, a quarter cup and I'm going to do it twice to make a half a cup. But however, if you guys have um, a half a cup, by all means, use your half a cup. I hope someday the goal is to say the show is no longer on the budget. You know I'm going to do a dance. <laughs> <laughs> the non budget show dance okay so now we have the quarter cup and that was a heaping quarter cup uh, twice which is a half a cup or a heaping half a cup now we're just gonna mix all this in until it's combined so you just want to mix the coconut oil in um, the key you do not have to do what I did you can melt it it'd be easier to mix in with the sugar but I just didn't want to you know I like to use my hands so you just want to mix this in so let's combine you guys so once you've mixed in your coconut oil into your uh, scrub. Now we're gonna add a fragrance oil. We're gonna use about a quart, a teaspoon of fragrance oil. If you want to use candy oil, you can. You can use any essential oils. But this is a festive recipe, so I think uh, a nice candy essential oil will work perfect. We are gonna use a teaspoon of it. However, if that's not enough, you can probably use two teaspoons you don't want to use too much uh fragrance oil so let's just use a nice teaspoon of fragrance oil so once you've mixed in your fragrance oil if you don't want to use a teaspoon you could weigh it out and depending on how you weigh it out you should use just enough that is body safe for you but a teaspoon or two teaspoons is enough if you smell it and you don't like the way it smells and you want a nice potent scent then use more fragrance oil or essential oils, but not too much because you don't want to burn the skin. So now our alter alter your skin, you know, get scarring. Uh, some fragrance oils do cause uh, irritation and scarring to the skin. So be careful, you guys. Um, so now we're going to add our soap. So this is a cup of melted melt and pour soap. Um, where I live in the desert, it's not that... Um, cold. It's not that cold. So if you guys are like, how come your soap isn't hardening, isn't hard so quickly? It's because 
I live in the desert, okay? I told you sometimes when we make these skincare recipes, you have to acclimate them to the weather you are in. So if you ever made one and it hasn't worked, it's depending on the weather you live in. If you live in the desert, it works just fine. If not, then you may have to uh, switch up what you do. So we're gonna use a cup of melting pour soap, but we won't use the whole cup. Now this, uh, you want to not have it too hot because if it's too hot, it will melt the sugar. So you wanna make sure it's nice and uh lukewarm I was about to say medium cold lukewarm so you guys make sure it's lukewarm <laughs> so we're going to pour our melted pour soap and this is a cup melted so we'll just use the whole cup there we go perfect now we're just gonna mix it till it's combined So this is cooling down really quick, like super quick, like it is solid. Ooh, good grief. So this is getting solid really quick. So now what you want to do is, you wanna begin by uh, putting it in separate bowls. So you wanna do a separate bowl of each. It could be a cup to two cups, but you want to work really fast because this stuff is turning hard really quickly. Like, look how hard it is. Good grief. Okay, so it's getting really hard quickly. I didn't realize how hot it, the weather cooled down so quickly these days, you guys. You got to work fast. Good grief. <laughs> so right now I'm just going to add orange to this we're gonna keep this one white and then we'll add yellow so I'm gonna be using Wilton's uh, food gel coloring normally I do use mica so if you have micas go ahead and use micas I'm gonna leave a link down below of the gel food coloring as well as the micas I do use the reason why I'm not using micas today is because a lot of you guys wanted me to do an easy project with food coloring so that's what we're gonna do today so we're gonna use Wilton gel food colorings Woo, bless this mess. So, okay, so now we've mixed all the colors. So we have a yellow, a orange, and a white, as you can see. But before we get started, what I'm gonna do is just dust a little more sugar, cause this is kind of pasty. So I'm just gonna dust a little more sugar and mix that in because I don't like the way it feels more pasty. And it will dry finely, but I want more of a sugar feel to the scrub cubes and this is just for this one normally I don't mind pasty but I would say you should use two tablespoons if you don't like that pasty filling so yeah so there we go uh, and then we'll do this one mix that in really well And then, oh no, I can't kiss with the stick. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna start adding it because this glove is orange and I should've did the white first. Oh, I am such an airhead sometimes, you guys. So I should've did the white first, my bad. Okay, so let's get started. Next time, if you do this, please remember to do the white first. So we're just going to layer them nicely. So what you wanna do is just pretty much layer. So we'll do um, orange and white. So white pretty much we'll put in the middle of it all. Like the middle and then the yellow. And then you could just do it like that if you like. Give it that beautiful festive look. And then you can just add it because no one really looks at the back, right? So you just, it's the back, so bad ab. There you go, everyone will be looking at the front. And then if you don't like to do it like that, you could just go like this, do a little orange, like that, like wacky looking. And then do a little white, of course, and then press it down so you could just do it any way you like so I'm gonna finish these up for you guys and then I'll show you the finished product so see you guys in a bit 
Ciao. Okay, so now it's time to mold our candy corn sugar scrub cubes. I am so excited. Or you could call them body scrub cubes. Okay, here we go. It's the next day. Okay, so this is what they look like. Can you guys see the light? I'm going to turn the light down so you guys can see. Let me see. There we go. Here's this one. The middle ones are sort of still sticky. And you guys, it's pretty humid here. So that's why they didn't dry too well because of the humidity. But here's another one. And I want to do one with like layers. So which one did I do with layers? I have no clue. We'll just work and pray for a miracle we find a layered one. Okay, this one's pretty layered. What do you guys think of this one? You see the yellow and the orange? But I want one with three. Okay, this one looks like a three layer one. Oh, I hope so. Yay! But the orange is not really showing. Oh, this is angering me. <laughs> I really want to find a three layer. That one's white. Here we go. This one's sort of three layer. I think we found one. Look at you guys. Three layers. I'm so excited we actually found one beautiful so i want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode of diy skincare treats make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you check out savvynaturalisa.com where we have soaps available where we have laramar elixir as well as miracle glow oil make sure you check out both these oils at savvynaturalisa.com and thanks so much for watching this this episode of DIY Skin Care Treats. I'll see you in our next episode. Bye you guys!